All right, thank God. Last night, the last time we ever have to see Matt McGloin throw a football. Matt, McBl Matt McGloin, Matt McStink, whatever you want to call him, he is Matt McGon. He's no longer on the Philadelphia Eagles. He's been cut. And this does not surprise me at all. You know, I, I did my projections uh, video yesterday, my 53-man roster projection, and I did not have McGloin on the roster. The, the better way to go is to either just put a guy on the practice squad, let him develop. You can call him up to the roster later in the season if you want. You can keep two guys, Foles and Wentz. I, I, I'd be fine with that. Um, but the, the third string quarterback is, is always a guy that you want to be like a developmental project type. And, uh, I, I, I've been saying it, man, like Matt McGloin does not look good and, and I didn't have him making the team. So this does not shock me. Uh, this might be a situation where the Eagles, uh, look elsewhere for a third string quarterback. I mean, this could be a situation where you had the Tim Tebow, uh, and Matt Barkley effect uh, from a couple years ago, and, and they went and, and got Stephen Morris uh, from, God, where did he play? So Stephen Morris was the formal Mi Miami, Florida product. So uh, they could go that route, or they could just place Dane Evans on the practice squad, go with two quarterbacks, and just uh, bring up, you know, uh, Evans if, if Wentz ever gets hurt. So if Carson Wentz goes down, you're not going to win any football games anyway. So... I'm fine with keeping two quarterbacks. I like that that Patriots theory of, of keeping two, especially Matt McLoin. I mean, come on, he stinks. He's terrible. So uh, he is gone. He's cut. Goodbye.